Hey guys, Mixmedia Girl here. In this video, I'm making a sunflower resin bowl and coaster set. Now I'm starting off by mixing up some of my Mixed Media Girl Artist resin with Alumilite white resin dye and the Pinata white alcohol ink. And I'm doing this in a cup with a baggie in it. And then I set that aside for later. I'm using my sunflower tray mold and coaster molds, and this is my first time using these coaster molds, so I'm actually pretty excited. Again, I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin, and for this tray mold, I'm using probably about eight ounces of resin, and then for each coaster mold here, I'm using about an ounce, ounce and a half, something like that. Um, you don't need to fill in the mold completely in the tray for the bowl. Uh, but for the coasters, you can fill them in all the way, or you can come back and do some clear resin later, which is what I ended up doing. Now I'm using some crushed gold pieces in the center here and moving them around to try to kind of spread them out over the entire middle of the sunflower. I do kind of wish I added a little bit more into that tray mold, but that's okay. still love how it came out. And then I used some alcohol inks to do my coloring. I'm using all uh, pinata alcohol inks for this project. So I've used a brown and then an orange and then a yellow. And of course, primarily yellow with the darker colors towards the middle. And then I also added a little bit of the gold alcohol ink. Again, it's pinata. And I added that to the center and then along the outside. Now I do love gold, but I do feel like I used a little too much gold for this project. But, you know, it's always fun to play around and learn from my mistakes. So next time, just maybe a little bit less gold. I then let it sit for about 15 minutes. So this white here that I mixed up was sitting for about a total of 30 minutes so that it had time to warm up and actually start to cure a little bit. And I'm kind of testing it out with this resin to see what works best time-wise. I don't think I've gotten it completely yet, but I'm still getting some great results. I then cut off the edge with uh, some scissors to essentially make a piping bag and then did a, a swirly design in all of my molds. I took a stick and used that to pull some of these spots out and also in to make the design that I wanted. There's no rules on this. You can really make any design. Um, I just did what I thought would look best for this and I again I'm still playing around with this and will probably try a few different things with this in the future but this is what I did for now and I used a stick and then also a toothpick in these smaller coaster molds and you can see I kind of I did go all the way out to the edge of the molds. I hit them lightly with my heat gun to remove any air bubbles and then I let the tray mold sit for about six hours which for this resin and the temperature in my workspace is essentially the time frame needed to make it not sticky at all, but still very pliable. I demolded it and I put it into a plastic bowl. Uh, this bowl, I believe, is a little bit less than 10 inches across. It's not very deep and I use it to make smaller resin bowls or medium resin bowls. And I did let the coasters cure overnight. Then I took a little bit more resin with some gold dust and I filled it in the rest of the way so that um, one, the alcohol inks protected, but two, the molds are just filled in completely. And then I let everything cure overnight. So the next day I popped out the bowl Pretty simple, looks gorgeous, and demolded the coasters. Again, I feel like I used too much of that gold um, alcohol ink, but I really, really love these. I love the designs, and I love these molds. So I have some ideas for how to make these even better next time, <laughs> but here's how they look, and I think they're gorgeous. I love this set, and we'll definitely be making a few more. And of course, it's been pretty warm outside so I'm going with all these summer kind of colors so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, you can get pretty much all of these supplies on my website if you're interested mixmediagirl.com let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you all next time thank you so much for watching